unqualified the truth behind Naomi's shift. Looking at the reality behind the widely circulated Sky News claim and why the rest of the globe appears to doubt Naomi Schiff's qualifications and expertise, it would be ideal to uncover some truth regarding the former W Series driver. The Sky Sports analyst has recently faced some criticism on Twitter, questioning whether she is equipped to remark on the top level of racing. Reigning world champion Max Verstappen and seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton have lent their voices regarding the recent troll of Schiff. But quickly, let's remind you who Naomi Schiff truly is. Who is Naomi Schiff? She grew up in South Africa after being born in Antwerp, Belgium to a Belgian father and a Rwandan mother. She began her single-seater racing career at 16 in the Southern African Formula Volkswagen Series in 2010, where she finished the season in 17th position with seven points. Later in 2011, she competed in four races for the Bridgestone Special Open Trophy. She was a member of the CK Racing Team, however, she was not classified. Schiff returned to racing after a year off with the RC Formula Team during a round of the Ciudad del Mota de Aragon European Cup Formula Renault 2.0 track. Similarly, she raced with the GH Motorsport Squad in the Supercar Challenge Superlights SR3. In 2014, she won the Clio Cup China Series with 7 out of 10 wins, gathering a total of 318 points and 135 points from the runner-up. Her performance won her a seat in the GT4 European Series the next year and a spot in the grueling 24 hours of Nürburgring in 2018, widely regarded as one of the most difficult in the world alongside Le Mans. Schiff joined the W Series in 2019, where she served as a diversity and inclusion ambassador and was a reserve the previous season. F1 fans may have seen Naomi for the first time in February, when she and Natalie Pinkham hosted the Mercedes Team Vehicle Presentation. She subsequently joined the 2022 Sky Sports F1 crew and co-hosted the new Sky Sports F1 show, Any Driven Monday, which is accessible on YouTube. The former W Series driver is not married, and she keeps her personal life discreet and is yet to clarify whether or not she is dating anybody. However, she has shared multiple images on Instagram of romantic times with an unidentified male, leading some followers to believe they are a pair. The W Series racing star has had a long and successful career on the circuit, competing for various teams. She's also been racing for a long time and was a top-ranked karting driver in South Africa for four years, representing the country's squad. Naomi has had a successful career off the track as a Sky F1 broadcaster and W Series ambassador, among other things. As a result, her net worth is estimated to be $1.5 million. Recent Twitter Troll a random user on Twitter whose tweet is now deleted tweeted on the 13th of June 2022 saying, Meet Naomi Schiff, the newest Formula One analyst for Sky Sports. Can you guess what her primary job qualification is? It isn't Formula One experience, as you may have guessed. Schiff then responded with three yawning emojis, expressing her displeasure with the unjustified comments. With multiple trolls of tweets coming at the Sky Sports F1 presenter, a couple of other stars and users have defended her. After the incident, she published a statement thanking everyone who stood up for her, including Lewis Hamilton. She remarked on Twitter, Thank you to everyone who's come to my defense. I appreciate all the love and support. None of you go unnoticed. Sadly, the issue of online bullying, bashing, shaming, and so forth is one I don't believe is going anywhere anytime soon. Social media, in some cases, gives voices to individuals who don't deserve to be heard. So I encourage anyone reading this not to indulge in it or retaliate or seek revenge. Remember that your words do have an impact and that, therefore, we should do something positive with these platforms and be kind to one another. Lastly, I love my job and I won't let anyone turn down my ambition or passion because they are uncomfortable with the volume. Closed wheel racing was where Schiff had the most success in her career. Highlights include a championship triumph in the 2014 Clip Cup China, which includes seven wins and seven poles in ten races, as well as a second-place finishing class in the 2018-24 hours of Nürburgring when she and the all-female crew piloted their KTM x Bau GT4 to a podium. While not substantial, it is still more than most people have accomplished in their lives and demonstrates a thorough understanding of racing. While naysayers will refer to the random performance, Belgians in the 2019 W Series, where she finished 16th overall for the season, even though it is far from successful, it doesn't tell the entire picture, since open-wheel racing 
is very different from the closed wheel racing Schiff had been doing for years. The W Series qualification process assessed her to be in the top 18 of the 55 women who wanted to compete in the first season. While this is not to disparage any other Sky pundits, they are all excellent professionals who contribute to the program uniquely. She is far from the team's least qualified racer. Ted Kravitz, David Croft, and Simon Lazenby are all important elements of the broadcast, yet none has ever raced professionally. Also, people should note that both Kravitz and Croft underwent journalistic training before moving on to F1 and Sky Sports, indicating that they are not unqualified. Meanwhile, Lazenby began his career at Sky as a runner until passing a screen test in 2002. That is to say, they all had to start someplace with television journalism, and some even dove right in. So why could a Naomi be the same and achieve comparable kinds of success? She is undoubtedly well-versed in the media and would have had appropriate training from Sky to assist with the F1 broadcasts. This shows that Naomi is a lot more than the diversity hire some people try to paint her as. While she may be new compared to her co-workers, they all had to start somewhere. And Schiff, in my opinion, has proven to be a class addition to the Sky team and earned her spot on the show. Hamilton support for Naomi Lewis Hamilton defended her, saying F1 still has a far way to go in changing people's minds. On Twitter, the Mercedes star wrote, Naomi is an ex-professional racing driver and totally qualified to give her opinion as part of the Sky team. She's been a great asset since joining, and we should welcome more representative broadcasting with open arms. Still have a long way to go to change these attitudes in sport. Hamilton has supported inclusiveness initiatives inside Mercedes and Formula One, aiming to increase the diversity of the paddock by including people of different ethnicities, genders, and sexualities. With the most recent episode of sexual harassment involving a female analyst, he has stated that more has to be done to encourage more young women, young girls, to come into STEM topics and create the possibility. That's part of my background job, working with Stefano Dominicali and the FIA to ensure we're creating a more inclusive atmosphere for everyone," the Mercedes driver said. I got here and we've been talking about it for a long time, and there's not much of a difference between standing behind the camera and strolling down the paddock," he continued. It hasn't moved nearly as much as I imagined it would, but it's a discussion that people like you are having. I appreciate you continuing the dialogue. Having Naomi there, as I mentioned, is quite crucial. I think she's doing a fantastic job. So I tried to persuade her to keep doing what she's doing because she represents so much. Hamilton and Naomi appear to have a tight connection that benefits both of them, which is unsurprising given that they are both accomplished in their fields. However, you can't dispute his continuous support for her, which is incredible to witness. Naomi is not only a professional but also an icon. She has progressed from racing at an early age to competing in a wide range of events and, to top it off, she has Lewis Hamilton as her idol. Max Verstappen shows his support also. Current world champion Max Verstappen also lent his voice in support of Naomi. He said, Most of the time, the people who are hating on you are frustrated people in life or work or whatever. They're at home on their keyboards. They don't have the person in front of them and they can say what they want. I think that's not correct, but most of the time, if these people meet you in real life, they wouldn't even care to say these kinds of things. He went further saying, Of course it's bad. I don't even read the comments, but I picked up a bit along the lines. It's not nice, but we all receive hate. I receive hate, but do I really care? No, because these people, they don't even deserve the attention, to be honest. You might argue she's much more than a professional at this time, having accomplished all of that while still being able to make it in the world of media, covering races and providing information. Women all across the world look up to her. Do you think she deserves the fury she's received, or do you believe it's simply jealous individuals afraid of what she's accomplished? Comment below.